You already know, man, all things sports and entertainment. We completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So Joe Budden uh, recently did a uh, episode on Joe Budden's podcast. And uh, the, the former Slaughterhouse rapper claimed that his mixtape discography is the best, actually. And um, he actually has it over uh, 50 Wayne. I mean, he said it's like his 50 Wayne, Fabulous, him. But he had him, of course, as the great. And also Slim Thug also said that he felt like he was up there as well. Um, I know he said it over the summer that he felt like, the, you know, them, the Swish House team was one of the best when it came to the mixtape here. Now, I'm going to be honest. I like Joe. I've heard all of Joe's mixtapes and really all his albums. Uh, I even had that one album, uh, I think it came out in 2011, 2012. And I was like, man, Joe's snapping, but is Joe ta- is, is, does Joe Budden has the best mixtape discography of all time? No, I'm sorry. He don't. He don't. And when you really want to talk about uh, as far as like just overall mixtapes, you you got to give it a 50 or Wayne, honestly. Now, Swisher House can make an argument in Texas. They was moving in Texas, and I was getting their mixtapes back in the day. I'm like, man, who do you... I knew about Mike Jones and Slim Thug and uh, Paul Wall way before mainstream did. So, I mean, they had their movement in the South, but when we talking about mixtapes, it was clearly 50 and Wayne. 50 and Wayne, I mean, you can argue Clue had a lot of great mixtapes as well but as far as his artists it was 50 and wayne i'm sorry 50 50 mixtapes all the 50 mixtapes were like albums all the little wayne uh, wayne was taking everybody else's songs and jacking them and they said the mixtape was way better than the person who came out with him on their album the no ceiling series come on now let's be honest man come on man wayne had the mixtapes on fire between him and 50 even though 50 really exploded before 03 that's how he got his big deal with um shady aftermath but i mean can joe freestyle absolutely is he a uh, uh lyrically absolutely i give him that i'll give him that but and, and 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 people please i grew up in the midwest i don't remember people banging joe button mixtapes back in the day like that i remember people playing 50s and lil wayne's i remember when no ceilings dropped everybody had that mixtape and when 50 cent was coming out with all them different mixtapes and g-unit everybody had those mixtapes but i don't remember hearing a lot of people bang joe budden mixtapes i'm sorry i i don't i don't i don't you know what i'm saying so but i mean you know lyrically i mean hey i remember when him and wayne was going at it and i mean him and wayne him and drake and i mean you know even though drake is the bigger artist clearly i mean joe budden he was lyrically i mean he you know he was up there cooking you know fab had a lot of mixtapes too i get fab that but um you know is Joe is Joe Button the uh, has the better mixtape series? No, and I and I actually I just listened to um, NBA or NBC. <laughs> Joe Button, y'all remember that song that came out years ago? He was cooking on that. But come on now, let's be honest, man. You know, but salute to Joe, man. Check out his podcast. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree? Disagree? If y'all feel like Joe Button has a better mix, please. I really want to know why. How how is he up there or better than Wayne? and 50 cent when it came to mixtapes please let me know below